Hello everyone and welcome to the Keswick Chapel's The Chew with Pastor Robert. Today is September the 2nd, 2020 and we're excited that you've chosen to spend a little bit of time with us today. We're continuing to look at the God Selfie, God is Near. This is a series of messages that Pastor Bud Reedy is bringing to the CFCN congregation both in the sanctuary and on Facebook Live. And so we're going to be reviewing this message and digging a little deeper. We're going to be chewing on some things throughout the days that follow that from Monday through Friday. And so if you haven't had a chance to look at the chew from Monday or Tuesday, I encourage you to go watch those. I know there'll be a blessing to you and there'll be a challenge for you. So this verse that we're focusing on for this selfie God is near comes from James chapter 4 verse 8 and that verse is this come near to God and he will come near to you wash your hands you sinners and purify your hearts you double-minded Father, we love you and we thank you for today's time together. We pray that you would give us eyes to see and ears to hear. Father, we pray that you would lead us and guide us. May we have receptive hearts and minds to your truth. Father, may we be encouraged as we are challenged and blessed by our time together. We pray that you will receive all glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, as a brief review from Monday and Tuesday, we talked about these five questions. Am I double-minded? Uh, this comes from James chapter 4, verse 8. And then, am I truly, fully submitted to God? This comes from James chapter 4, verse 7, where James says, submit yourselves to God. And then, are we doing things that the Holy Spirit has taken us to task over? Things that are sin to us that the Holy Spirit says that we need to stop doing. Have we made those corrections? And then, the question from yesterday, am I committed to living a pure life in Christ? And then the question of the week is this, am I serious about wanting to be near to God? The verse tells us that if we will come near to God, he will come near to us. And so I pray that you've been chewing on these things and that you are seeking God's grace to accept what the Holy Spirit is revealing to you for you to address in your life and that you're willing to submit yourself entirely to God for this in order to be changed and renewed. And as we focus on God coming near to us, we have this question asked, what are the tools that you and I can utilize that will help us to draw near to God? Well, one of the things that we talked about this past Sunday, and we'll talk about again here in brief and maybe a little more in depth, is the resources that are available to us, either at a bookstore or the library or uh, thrift stores are a favorite place for Pastor Bud. He loves to go in thrift stores where he can pick up a book, usually a great book, for a dollar or two. And, you know, sometimes a little more than that, but a lot of times you can find really good deals. And here's the thing about finding resources in thrift stores. If the previous owner is anything like myself, they've probably taken out the highlighter and they've gone through and highlighted things that have spoken to them. And they may have even jotted some notes down. Well, the beautiful thing about that is, you know, we don't know why that spoke to them, but oftentimes these things might open a door for the Holy Spirit, something that the Holy Spirit's been working with us about that maybe we haven't quite got our hands wrapped around and, and all of a sudden we read it in a book and it just opens up a door for us. It comes to life. So resources in the way of books is a really wonderful thing. Study guides. You can pick up study guides for a little bit of nothing. Things because although we study, we read God's word, we try to explore God's word, sometimes it's just difficult. And so maybe it's a time of our life. The uh, I know a number of different devotionals I've gotten over the years have been about prayer. There have been uh, other devotionals that I've used. It, in this case, there was a journal that I had one time that was you know, about drawing near to God. So there are these resources available to us. Well, maybe you don't have time to sit down and read a book or to actually sit down and do a Bible study the way you'd like to. Maybe you could spend time listening to an audio book or to a podcast. Uh, we know that podcasts are really a going thing right now 
It seems like everyone is doing podcasts. So if you have a favorite author or a preacher that you've heard, uh, I know I have a couple of friends who are real big fans of Rick Warren. Another friend is real big with Charles Swindoll, Andy Stanley, uh, James Dobson, just to name a few. These are people that may speak to you and may actually be delivering content that is helpful and beneficial to you. So I want to encourage you to check out these different resources that are available to you and make use of those things. Because at the end of the day, if you really want to draw near to God, the question that we have before us today is what are we doing? What tools are we seeking that will help us? So, you know, another resource that you can use is your pastor. Maybe it's a youth pastor or a worship pastor in your church, or maybe you would like to reach out to me. You're welcome Welcome to do so. Either leave a comment in the uh, in this post, or you're welcome to email me at Pastor Robert at keswickchapel.com. I would love to engage with you in a conversation and to help you. Maybe I've got a resource that I can send to you, whatever the case may be, or just point you in a direction. I would love the opportunity to do that. So I pray that you will think about these things today. Tomorrow, we'll look at more resources. We'll look at other things that we can utilize in our life that is readily available to us that will help us draw near to God. Father, we love you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for the time together. Father, we pray that you would help us to have our eyes open to resources that are available to us that will help us. Father, help us to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit as you work to lead us to the different things that will help us, Father to draw near to you and your promises that you will draw near to us. So, Father, we pray that as we go today that you would help us to have eyes and ears that we may see and hear those around us, that we may be the hands and feet of Jesus to someone today, maybe a soft word, a gentle smile, or an encouragement, Father. Whatever it may be, we pray that you would help us to be ready to serve with the boldness of Christ those around us. We love you. We thank you for this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I pray that you'll go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.